All right, in this video, I'm just, we're gonna be showing y'all how to make a catfish jug. This will be what the finished product will look like. Out of these materials, you got your cup pool noodle, your fishing line, your hook, and your sinker. Now the sinker, I would, depends on like what depth of water you're fishing in or like how strong the current is. We're only fishing in the pond, so we're using a one ounce sinker. And you obviously got your hook. And for your line, definitely depends on what depth. We've got eight feet, because we're only fishing in the pond, like I said. And your pool noodle, I don't think it matters, personally. So, what I like to do, I like to take it. So, you're gonna feed it through that hole, and you're gonna tie it a knot, make sure it's nice and tight. Then you got your line. So what I like to do, I like to get the sinker on there. I have plenty of room. And I like to take this string, wrap it around right here. And I like to send it right back through that hole. Just like so. I like to take my hook, go through the hole. Have some dangle down like that and a little tail. I like to twist it down there a couple times. I like to take that string that I had as a tail, put it back through the hole. And you're gonna have this little loop after you put it through the hole. You're gonna put it through the hole and then put it in that loop. This is what the finished product will look like. You got your sinker, you got your hook there at the bottom. And what I like to do, I like to take a piece of electrical tape I like to wrap it around over the knot just in case your knot comes undone. Just like that. And then there you go. Got your homemade catfish jug. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.